guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make the rebate to put in bonded glass. You can't just bond it to the old rebate, it's never going to work. But so you can put, build the rebate, bonded glass in, and then you can smooth out all around it and you've got a smooth, seamless bonded glass for a custom mini truck, anything like that. It's going to be awesome, it's going to be right here, it's going to be right now. Okay then, so what we're doing with the non-standards rear window is we're going to mount this window actually flush to the body so it's going to be bonded like a modern car and, uh, and sit flush, it'll have the black edge just like a modern car and it will sit more flush in the back line of the roof but first what we've got to do, we need something to mount that to so we're going to be making a fiberglass rebate that sits within the old steel rebate and holds the window flush with the, uh, with the body at the back so first off we've got the window out here and uh, the frame is going to be it's going to be a compound curved uh, frame now to make this in any other way to, um, to fabricate this would be more than time consuming that's why we're going to do it with fiberglass so I've cleaned all the glass up here the back of this glass is just masked off that's why it looks a bit odd and what I'm going to do I'm going to mask in fact I'm going to mask the whole back of this ready to put some fiberglass on I've covered all of the glass in, um, in masking tape and I'd always recommend you cover all of the glass because you know, you're doing um, fiberglass and you don't want to get any resin on the glass and as this is a 1958 standard enzyme I don't think there's as many in the scrap yards so what I'm doing now I'm just applying some wax to the um, masking tape just so that we can easily crack the uh, fiberglass off of this when, when we're finished. So, good application of wax around there. I've gone around here with the wax and I've waxed right onto the edge because what I'm hoping is that as I go around the edge I'm going to overshoot a little bit and I want almost like a, a bit of a slump over that edge um, I don't want to go over the edge, I don't want to form that edge, I just want a bit of slump and then that gives me a datum point from the other side to exactly where the glass fits in relationship to the body of the car so that it goes in with just a, a small gap around but yeah just like that, just a little bit over and also when this is pulled off if this was totally flat, you know, it'll be really bendy. But what it'll be, because it'll have that little kink to it, just that little kink will give it an extra bit of rigidity and this will keep its shape a bit better as well. Okay, let's get some fiberglass on. Okay, so lots and lots of fiberglass around there. I went probably um, probably five layers, so that's going to be really nice and thick, and it's going to be nice and rigid when we uh, actually take it off and offer it up to the car. Um, I don't want it to lose that shape. It's got to keep that shape, and it's got to keep it quite accurately. Right, and so we've had... Um, We've had this drying for about probably three hours and uh, now it's time to prise it away from the glass um, which hopefully is just going to happen.
And there we have all the compound curves and all the shape of the back of the glass ready to make a rebate so that we can um, we can make the rear screening for a bonded screen. And I think the reason why there wasn't bonded screens back in the day is because the metal work or in this case the fiberglass work, your you know the base that you're going to bond to has to be very very precise with the glass. And that's where um, you know that's that's why old cars have that big rubber seal that fits in and there's a lot of give there between the two surfaces. But by doing this we make that same accurate surface like on a modern car and then we can fit it to the old car. Okay then, so this is off now and uh, as you can see this is where it was on the glass and this is the bit I was saying about I wanted it just to go around the edge and you can just see a line there where the edge of the glass was. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim all of this off up to that line and maybe also go in a little bit bigger than that line, probably by two or three mil, because of course it will be bigger. The, the aperture for the glass is way bigger than the glass it's meant to have the rubber there, so I'm going to have to fill that gap. So if I leave a little bit on there, what I'll also do is uh, clean some of this out as well. So let's get the grinder. sort of a floppy fiberglass frame but it does fit absolutely perfectly to that piece of glass so just make sure it's all together there and then what I'm going to do is stand the glass up into the rebate there drop it in I'm just looking to see if this is all going to fit in there And yeah, there it is. Um, now what we've got there is, we now know this sits within that rebate. We also know um, that the glass sits with it. It's not, um, it's not fouling on anything. Uh, this, is, this is all good. So what we can now do is reattach the frame to the window. Then we'll put it back in, but this time we'll stick it in. And what I'm gonna do is just stick it in on a couple of pads of Bondo. Because that way, I can, I can move it on the soft filler before it dries and I can get this so that this sits nice and, nice and flush with that. What I actually want is this to be sitting slightly lower than that because of course there'll be a bit of blacking on and there'll be sealant between the glass and the new fiberglass rebate as I put it back on. So I'd like the glass just to be sitting a little bit shy. Because of course at the moment, as far as bonding the glass goes, this will all be a dry fit. All we're doing is making bonding the rebate into place with the glass, so the glass lines up with it. Just to hold the fiberglass piece in position, I'm going to use this double-sided tape on the inside of the glass. And this really is just to hold it there while I bond it. So, um, and two strips here and here and a couple of bits either end and we should be done on that. So if we look just here, um, you can see just how great a fit this is. What is the like one millimetre, half a millimetre gap there? And this is absolutely fits to the glass. Um, we're using the glass at the minute to hold that in shape just so when we bond it in it stays in the same shape and then we'll pull the glass back off the double sided tape and we will have a perfect uh, sort of bedding rebate to bond the glass in. So um, I've got the, the screen in place, it's got the fiberglass frame on the back of it. Now what I need to do, I just need to hold it in there temporarily because I need to get to the frame without having the glass in the way. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to super glue along this top edge. And as you can see, there's the original uh, rebate. This looks all a bit crazy in there, but th this has been rust proofed and stuff. And that's why it looks a bit odd. And I'm just going to dob some super glue in. Pretty much everywhere I can. It's not just super glue. It's mite effect, so we can spray it. And on it goes. And we can push that in and that should hold that there. Literally as we well, as we're holding it, there's no need to sort of clamp it or anything. You see at the top there, there isn't a lot of contact with the original rebate. Um, we've got a really big gap just here. And the reason is I've dropped the glass down uh, by 10 mil so it sits almost just flush with the with the deck lid at the back and uh, you know just looks it'll look a lot sleeker and cooler you'll just have shiny bodywork shiny glass and no ugly old um, rubber seal in the way so we'll just get in there everywhere we can and same again on the other side uh, Just everywhere it's touching, and of course it isn't touching everywhere because the um, the steel frame of the car, this rebate is good, but it's not absolutely accurate to the glass um, because that's why you have a rubber between the glass and the uh, the rebate in an old car. It, it takes up all the slack. Whereas in a modern car, it's a lot more accuracy, and that screen is bonded in. To a larger rebate that is super accurate and that is what we've created here at least that's it for the super glue i'm um, just here it doesn't reach so what i'm going to do i'm going to get some uh, i'm going to get some bondo in there just to stick that fiberglass frame down So with a bit of super glue and a bit of Bondo, we've sort of stuck this in temporarily. So now what we've got to do is remove the glass from the uh, from the fiberglass, the new fiberglass frame. Now what I'm checking for here, of course, I didn't get to bond this bottom rail, um, but you know what it. It's pretty tight, it's sitting up to that um, rebate and that's pretty good. I think any sort of deformation in that uh, will be taken up by the sealer. So, just to hold that in position for now, again, I'm going to super glue it. Just putting some Bondo along this edge just to make this stronger um, before its final fix um, and just so that those little spots of super glue don't come undone and in any way I lose any of the accuracy of the, uh, the fibreglass frame. So we just we've got the um, we've got the fiberglass frame in there, and we've got it um, fixed from this side. What we will be doing is going on the inside of the car and just fiberglassing that to the rebate, just so it's super strong. Um, we've unmasked it around the edge here, and as you can see, that is bang up to that bit. You know we've now got we've now got the precision in. Uh, in this rebate that we can actually you know put a bonded window in so next up obviously there's problems here like this massive gap this absolutely huge gap i'm not bothered that this is lower than the roof there i'm saying that's probably four mil lower but once it's got it's um once it's got the ceiling behind it that will that will bring it up to that level so now we're going to fill this gap in one go. Okay, so I've got the glass 
actually in place, in position, and uh, we've used this um, like jacking ram or whatever it's called, just to push it into position so that it's not moving. So next, we're gonna fill around it. So I've filled here and I've filled, well I've filled up to the glass and um, I'm just waiting for this, it's still a little bit wet and what I'm going to do with this sawzall blade, I'm going to run along the edge of the glass right down here. Now what I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to get this plane accurate. I don't care about this at the minute because as long as I've got that line, I can fill back from that line and blend to the roof. So literally just the plane that meets the edge of the glass this way on, that's all I'm after. Right, I think this is about there. So let's have a go. Using, using the glass as a straight edge. Um, always best as well just have a just grab the glass and just give it a wiggle like that you can just tell that you've not glued the glass in because one day we will want to glue this glass in forever but that is not good enough okay then so we've gone round we've got a gap um, and now we can pull this out so because we've fitted this right down to the deck lid, um, we've got, we don't have to do it down there, which is great. We've just got the edge of the glass going up to the paintwork, and that'll look great. So now I'm going to remove this piece of glass. So first off, and then hopefully out of the glass in the end, look at that. Um, that's all good. Uh, don't get me wrong, that glass is going to need quite a bit of cleanup, but... Um, At least I didn't glue it in. Okay, so join us next time. We're going to be painting the car and we're going to have some cool custom touches. And once the car's painted, then we'll be able to bond in that cool, flush fitting rear screen. Don't forget to click the like button, click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, that's super important. Oh, it's deep, deep. just won't tell you when new videos come up. Subscribing is not enough. So click that bell icon, give us a thumbs up, leave comments down below. Until next time, thank you very much and good night. Hey!